Federal Air Marshal Service layer of security and human factor issue. Introduction Air travel is constantly faced with serious security threats, and this has forced various countries all over the world to put in place specialized standby security organs to protect and safeguard national, as well as international flights, in their respective countries. Since the 9-11 terrorist attacks, the United States has expanded its law enforcement air program commonly known as the Federal Air Marshal Service, FAMS. It is charged with the responsibility of restoring public confidence in civil aviation by efficiently positioning federal air marshals on selected commercial flights to identify, discourage, and conquer terrorist and hostile acts aimed at United States airports, aircrafts, air travelers, and crews. The FAMS is a major component of the Transport Security Administration, TSA, that has a shared duty of safeguarding roughly 29,000 flights undertaken each day by United States commercial traveler airplanes. The purpose of this task is to explain how the FAMS layer of security functions and assess and categorize if any human factor issue in this layer could compromise the aviation safety or security system. How the Federal Air Marshal Service Layer of Security Functions The FAMS applies a layered approach to aviation security in its endeavors to realize its mission of positioning qualified, well-trained, and armed Federal Air Marshals to offer onboard security presence on selected domestic and international flights. As of the year 2006, the TSA had 20 layers of security of which the FAMS is one of its main layers. The Federal Air Marshal Service is the major law enforcement organ of the TSA. The FAMS uses tactfully deployed armed personnel who travel on board selected commercial flights operated daily in the U.S. Even though the FAMS had been in existence within aviation security since the 1960s, their function was not important until the 9-11 terrorist attacks, when the law that established the domestic homeland security broadened the Air Marshal program. The FAMS determines every day on a regular basis which commercial flights have to be provided with onboard security personnel. To enhance accuracy in making this critical aviation security decision at a time of widespread domestic and international terrorism, the FAMS has built and developed an operational method popularly known as the agency's concept of operations. Through this carefully crafted approach, the FAMS deploys air marshals on chosen commercial flights. Since September 11, 2001, FAMS has expanded its coverage to include and give precedence to non-stop, long-distance flights such as those aimed at September 11. Human Factor Issue in the Layer of Security There are various human factor issues in this layer that can produce a compromise in aviation safety or security. Apart from making critical flight coverage decisions, the FAMS also encounters challenges in dealing with a range of quality of life and operational concerns that affect the ability of air marshals to undertake the significant agency's mission. In fact, most of these issues have attracted widespread media coverage due to the delicate function entrusted to the FAMS, especially following the 9-11 terrorist attack which left American citizens and the government desperately concerned about the security of domestic and international air travelers. One of the main human issues that can bring about compromise in aviation security is the maintenance of secrecy during aircraft boarding processes. Another important human factor issue concerns the capacity of the TSA and other concerned authorities' capacity to lessen numerous possible health matters attributed to frequent flying. These human factors can be resolved by ensuring that air marshals do not serve beyond an agreed minimum period to mitigate health risks associated with frequent flying. During their tenure, they should operate on a rotational basis strictly manned by the TSA and top FAMS officials to ensure that they do not become familiar faces in given airports and with crews, frequent air travelers, and airport workers. Doing so would enable FAMS to maintain the anonymity of its officers.